As the effects of climate change continue to be felt, many areas have undergone more and more severe droughts and experienced worse and worse uh, wildfire seasons. Not only can wildfires have devastating effects locally, but smoke can be felt from 1,000 miles away. In 2021, for example, uh, smoke from western wildfires uh, affected air quality in the northeast U.S. In June of 2023, wildfires in Quebec in Canada burned 9 million acres, an area which was 15 times greater than usual. And because of the resulting weather patterns, smoke from these wildfires plagued the Northeast United States, uh, stretching down into Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. More than 75 million people were put on uh, air quality alerts. Individuals were advised to stay indoors. Masks were distributed uh, in New York City and advised for those who might be susceptible to asthma attacks. Uh, there were a variety of sports uh, events which were canceled from professional women's basketball, women's soccer, major league baseball, and even horse racing events. Many schools canceled, canceled all extracurricular uh, activities because of the effects. These images here are from the area uh, where New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania meet. Uh, you'll see many along the Delaware River. This is obviously a concern since air pollution, such as the particulate matter which would result from wildfires, is a major cause of mortality throughout the world. To many people that sounds odd if you list the causes of uh, death which plague humanity. One sees things like heart attacks and strokes and respiratory disorders such as asthma. One doesn't see air pollution listed. But what many people don't realize is that emergency room visits for heart attack, stroke, uh, asthma attacks, and many other disorders peak during times where air pollution is highest. So air pollution aggravates many existing conditions and therefore many of these attacks and unfortunately many deaths occur prematurely during times where air pollution is elevated. So as climate change worsens uh, the frequency of wildfires, the negative health outcomes will continue to be felt, including in areas which are hundreds and thousands of miles away from the uh, wildfires because of the spread of this smoke. Obviously, wildlife is also exposed to these pollutants, as can be seen in these images from June of 2023 from the uh, wildfire smoke from Canada affecting the Northeast U.S.